fantastic day. We have a lot going on. It is supposed to be a warm week. Like think upper 80s, 90s uh, some of the week here. So anyway, we need to finish up some things, especially outside here over the next few days. I'm starting the day off with some strawberry picking. Uh, I did pick over half of them yesterday, so we will see what we can find. many strawberries considering that it's the start of strawberry season my plants have been going now for is this the third or the fourth year I can't quite remember but I believe they're technically good for two to three years before you have to restart from the new little shoots um, so it is time for me to do that so this year we'll probably mainly have for fresh eating and then hopefully next year we can be back at the full on like buckets of big strawberries. But question of the video, what is your favorite strawberry recipe? Leave them down below because we obviously love strawberries. I always love to experiment, try new things and so forth. My dress of the day is this beautiful piece from W Boutique. It's this beautiful linen. Can never get enough of that. Also look at this fun detail on the sleeve. Isn't that great? And then the neckline is so fun. Love the smocked bodice. It has the layers. This reaches just past my knee, I'm 5'7 for reference, and this detail goes all the way around the back. This is the same fabric that the V-neck that has the little ruffle here is that I wear all the time. So I'm really excited for this piece because I already know it's a win and it is double lined. So perfect for the summer months. <laughs> over here but I thought that since Josh is finishing up at the pond anyway we were clearing out some grasses trimming up trees mowing all of the things they're still down there so I thought I would just quickly pack a little picnic lunch and we'll just eat down there by the picnic tables so I have some sandwiches the fresh strawberries we picked I have some chips salad I need to grab some hard-boiled eggs and I think that's it. it's just gonna be super simple but super yummy and I think the kids are gonna be so excited who am I that the maker of heaven would love me and know me by name in a world where I feel like a stranger His love came and found me the same In each breath that I breathe When I wake or I sleep Everything I need is found in you All in you Everything What is love that the God of the heavens would stoop down to love me with grace? In the midst of my pride and rebellion, His love wouldn't give up the chase. 
in each breath that I breathe When I wake or I sleep Everything I need is found in you All in you Y'all know that my absolute favorite flower is dahlias but I have to say these roses are a close second. I have a friend who is kids are still catching fish back there and apparently they caught a good one. One thing that she mentioned is really important in the health of roses is there's a kind of grub that will crawl into the actual stem of the rose and burrow its way in there so any opening it can find it will climb into and then can just burrow down into the stem all the way down to the roots and kill the whole entire rose bush. So one way to avoid that is when you're pruning as well as like now when I'm coming to get cut, rose cut. This what? So one thing you can do to really help avoid that is actually take this Elmer's glue and then when you cut it, you're actually just gonna dab a little bit of glue on the cut and it'll just seal it off so that those grubs can't go in there and ruin the whole thing. So anyways, you guys, I can't get over these. There's so many blooms and so many more buds. These are the David Austin Des Desdemona. I'm not quite sure how they say it, but I'll put it on the screen, uh, rose. And it is, ouch, prickly, but it is a repeat flowering rose. So this should be blooming through most of the summer. So really excited about that maybe even put some bouquets together with roses and dahlias and i'm also going to eucalyptus so a thatch as well i don't know i just can't wait it's the time of year where you can count on there being some sort of blooms really from now until fall frost i need this and this 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 i'm just cutting the leaves off up until maybe the top two or three this just really helps one, any sort of flower one. when you cut them stick them in water the energy can go straight to the bloom instead of also to all the leaves and just usually helps them last a lot longer when I'm lost, when I'm scared, everywhere you are there everything that I now and we just got back from our big grocery haul if you watched my meal planning grocery shopping <laughs> video um, I will try to link it here you'll know that we like to buy a lot of things in bulk we have a couple refrigerators we have a lot of storage space and a number of freezers so what you see here is not what we eat in a week or anything like that but it is one of our big grocery hauls. Also, if you're curious, this dress is also from Devi Boutique. It is a wrap style dress, so it has a little tie here, super comfortable. And another one that's really nice for summer, it is fully lined throughout the skirt as well as the front of the bodice. The back of the top part is not, but does not seem to be um, see-through. So anyway, but this is what we got today. This is not in any specific order. We're just kind of all jumbled together here, but I got this big box of broccoli for broccoli salads, broccoli soup, that kind of thing. And then another big box of these carrot chips. These would also be really good in salads or like steamed veggies, stir fries, that kind of thing. I got a lot of corn and we do have a 
big party coming up. So we will be using a lot of this then, but this is one of those. And then hopefully give us another couple meals on the side. And then we have a box of mushrooms. Again, planning to use these for stuffed mushrooms for the party and then stir fries, maybe soups. Got a bunch of these orange bell peppers and then a lot of grapes. The kids love these for breakfast or for snacking on. We have two boxes of these tomatoes. And my main goal in these is for burgers, which is also for the party, and then also for fresh salsa. This one isn't even opened yet, but this is just a bunch of ricotta cheese. And then I found a bunch of these little applesauce pouches for the kids. They're the organic go-go squeeze. Love these for easy snacks. I think I have a box of, a couple boxes of these whole wheat crackers as well. Have some celery for a potato salad for the party and then a couple of cucumbers and jalapeno peppers. And then we found a bunch of mangoes, which I'm really excited about. One of our favorites for sure. Some of them are ripe and ready to eat now while others are gonna need a little bit of time to ripen. But I think we have five boxes of that here. Got some tapioca pearls, and then this is a bunch of almond flour. And then this cheese that we've really been enjoying it with cooking, um, it's the Borson cooking cream. I got a bag of pasta. I'm not actually sure what kind of peppers this is, but they look good, so. Got one bag of those. The kids love granola bars for snacks before they head to the barn, so I got a couple different options there. It's a bag of lemons, some mandarin oranges. I got a thing of flatbread, and then some hint of lime tortilla chips. Oops, I missed a box. This is just a box of some different canned goods. I far prefer homemade ketchup, but we are completely out, so I got a few ketchups. Um, there's some sauerkraut, and then I think we have some relishes and mustard and some canned peppers. Uh, just a couple things to hold us over. These I think are olives. Um, hold us over till we can get fresh from the garden again. Back on the road again. Uh, <laughs> I needed to get some vinegar yet from a different place. So if you have a good natural laundry soap recommendation that works really well, even in like you know, hard worked in clothes. I would love to know. I am definitely on the lookout. I think part of our problem is honestly our wash machine. We used to have one of those old rickety kind of white washing machines. They don't look nice, but they worked really well. And we got a brand new one maybe about a year ago and it has just not been washing our clothes really well. So anyways, I'm trying out some different things right now. I'm just using vinegar, which works really well, but I know some people say it can corrode something in your washing machine. So um, obviously I don't want to ruin it, but I would love recommendations if you have any.
but it is going to be so worth it. I can't wait for it to be finished. The reason that the soil is so hard is because we actually dug it last fall, I think. So it's had all like the winter weather on it. It has had skid loaders driving on it and it's just been a mess. So it's almost like it has a crust on top of it now that you have to get through and there's rocks in the soil. But I'm excited for what is to come in this area. So thanks for bearing with us in the process. I thought that since we still have some of these leftover strawberries, it would be fun to make a strawberry lemonade uh, for dinner tonight. I already have pizza crust going. I was going to do sourdough crust, didn't get on that in time. So we are now doing a non-sourdough crust. Uh, I got the recipe originally from Kansas Wife, I think it's her Instagram. I'll link her Instagram below and then also have the recipe. Uh, there for you if you're looking for a pizza crust, but it's our favorite non-sourdough pizza crust. But for this strawberry lemonade, I'll also link this recipe below, but I'm going to start with four cups, which I actually did not measure. Hopefully I have enough. Okay, well I actually have honey in my measuring cup, so I'm going to start with that. I have about just over half a cup of honey here, and then I'm going to grab four cups of strawberries. What were you guys working on today? I wish we could chat through the camera as we work. That would just be fun to catch up. My laundry is going right now, so I hope it's not too loud for you. Two, three. Okay, we're just shy of four cups. I'm gonna add a chunk of frozen strawberries as well. And then this recipe actually calls for you put the entire lemon peel or entire lemons I should say I have two lemons quartered I'm just gonna stuff that all in here and then we'll strain it later so we'll get rid of the peel that way then I'm gonna add two cups of water and then we'll blend it all together take this sieve and <laughs> I would like to put this in my big jar but we're actually getting Jersey milk from the barn with it right now so I'm gonna try this we'll just oh my word okay well we have a mess to clean up but we're gonna pour this through the sieve and strain it Kale salad probably would not be their favorite, but when it is 
on the pizza in tiny pieces, they don't care. So you can kind of hide it in there. So anyway, I'm going to chop these up and then we'll be ready to top the pizza. So I've pre-baked my crust. I kind of go back and forth between what I prefer, uh, baking the crust first or just baking it all together. And today I did it ahead of time. And then for toppings today, I think we're gonna do that Borsen cheese that we had bought earlier today. It is so good. Almost like a white pizza feel, except I will be adding some more toppings. I have a little bit of cheese that I wanna put on top of that. And then we're gonna do pepperoni because that's a favorite around here. I have some chicken that I want to put on as well. Maybe some olives and then the herbs. Anyway, should be really tasty and I think they'll be coming in any time now, so I better get this done. Onion greens, literally our favorite on almost anything. Such good flavor. Hey, honey. You are working, you are working for the The girls and I were giving our little toy poodle a haircut this evening. <laughs> and anyway, just enjoying time outside. I have this laundry to take in yet. But thank you so much for spending today with me. I hope you were inspired and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye friends. Golden, golden thing.